the Society of St. Pius X, where my founder, Archbishop Marcel Lefebvre, did great missionary work, was here in Africa, so it's a great privilege to be able to be here and uh, here in Nigeria. But today, a few considerations from the scripture reading of this morning on wisdom. Wisdom. We know that in, our, in the Holy Land of Kentucky, where I am from, we have old farmers. You may have farmers here. We have old, two old farmers. They sit on the porch and they look at the fence and they see the fence is broken. And the two old farmers say, well, fence is broken. Yeah, fence is broken. Them cows are going to get out. Yeah, them cows are going to get out. Somebody should fix that fence. <laughs> yeah, somebody should fix that fence. <laughs> Want a cup of coffee? <laughs> so they drink a cup of coffee. Sure enough, cows got up. <laughs> They're very wise. Because these wise men knew that the fence was broken. And they knew that the fence had to be fixed. And they knew that if the fence was not fixed, the cows would get out. Sure enough, the cows got out. So they must be very wise. The problem is, when sacred scripture and the church speaks about wisdom, it doesn't mean the wise man is not someone who understands. The wise man is not someone who knows what the right thing to do is, who talks about it, like our two old farmers in Kentucky, rocking back and forth on their chairs. Yep, them cows is going to get out. I don't want them cows to get out. Sure enough, I told that boy them cows was going to get out. And their fence is broke. And they're all upset about the broke fence. The thought of getting off their behinds and grabbing a hammer and grabbing a fence puller and grabbing some wire and fixing the fence never crosses their brain. But they are very wise. This is the wisdom of the world, the wisdom of the internet, it's the wisdom of the commentators that are all over the world today. My, my commentary on this stupid thing that is happening right now. I told you that Biden was a bad president. I told you the communists were going to take over. I told you the coronavirus was a hoax. I told you that Vatican II was going to happen. I told you that if you did wrong, you would be bad. And if you do right, you will be good. I know all those things. Just talk to me. And this wisdom is not from God. Remember what the scripture says, what is wisdom for man is foolishness for God. And what is foolishness for God is wisdom for man. And what is wisdom for God is foolishness for man. So what is this sacred wisdom? We read in the Book of Wisdom today, in the Sacred Scripture reading, what wisdom does. And what is it that holy wisdom really is? It's not knowing the right thing. It's not knowing what we are supposed to do. It's not understanding what went wrong. That's simply an intellectual exercise. But that is not wisdom. So we read the book of Wisdom, chapter 10, which is in the sacred scripture reading in the Holy Grievery today. Wisdom preserved him that was first formed by God, the father of the world, when he, he was created alone. And wisdom brought him out of his sin and gave him power to govern all things. And when the unjust went away from her in his anger, he perished by the fury wherewith he murdered his brother. For whose cause, when water destroyed the earth, wisdom healed it again, directing the course of the just by contemptible wood. 
What is wisdom? Wisdom preserved the father of the world. Our father, his name is Adam. And Adam committed a terrible sin 6,000 years ago. But before he committed that sin, he was created by God. And what did wisdom first do to him? Wisdom preserved him who was alone. Wisdom will never leave us alone. Adam went out in the world and saw the beautiful world that God made for him, but he was alone. And he was so sorrowful because he was alone that only wisdom preserved him. There is something living in wisdom. It is the greatest of the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Wisdom preserved Adam when he was alone. But then Adam was given Eve that most beautiful gift that came from his side. And then he committed sin. And then what did wisdom do? Adam, Wisdom did not abandon Adam after he sinned. And she brought him out of his sin and gave him power to govern all things. God gave a certain wisdom to Adam in the very beginning that was part of his infused knowledge. But once he committed sin, he no longer could govern. He could no longer rule the earth. But wisdom gave him strength. And wisdom purled him out of sin. And wisdom gave him hope. And wisdom allowed him to govern all things. And this is not all that wisdom did. St. Thomas Aquinas tells us that wisdom is to understanding what charity is to faith. We must all understand what is right and what is wrong. But wisdom guides us to live by that understanding. We must all know our faith. Satan knows very well every article of the creed. Satan knows every doctrine ever taught by Jesus Christ, and he knows that it's true. And yet Satan burns in hell. Knowledge does not save Satan. All of the damned know precisely and perfectly the truth. But time in the history of our world where God is asking, which of you is going to be wise? Shall be, you'll be wise like the two old farmers or like the blogs and like the internet. Wise men who all have something to say about how bad the Democrats are and how bad the Bilderbergers are and how how bad the communists are, and how bad the one with enemy of wisdom. And the wisdom delivered the, the just man who fled from the wicked, their wickedness is desolate, and spoke to the sin against wisdom. And so it smoked for over a thousand years. As a monument to Lot's wife. What did Lot's wife do when she was walking outside of the city of Sodom with fire? And it must have been a very incredible fire. The fire came down from heaven. This fire would have been much more impressive than the smoke and flames that came from the atom bomb. The flames came from heaven all the way to earth and burnt the city of Sodom so completely that 1,000 years later, it still smoked. And as Lot was walking outside the city, and the greatest fire was burning behind them, the angel said, Lot's wife was not a wicked woman. She was just unwise. She was not eager behind you in the screaming of the condemned souls of Sodom and Gomorrah and the other two cities. Burning, 
And you think that's an amazing fire to burn for 30 years, 40 years? This fire burned for a... And she... Took me over six months, seven months to get here to Nigeria. And because of the hatred of his brothers, he saved his brother. They would be dead, and the Jewish race would be wiped out, and there would have been no Messiah. But because the eleven brothers hated Joseph, he who shall increase, who preserved the eleven brothers in their hatred, wisdom, and not in the wise expressions and wise advices of the foolish men of the world. Wisdom brought David through his troubles. And it says, wisdom also guided the Jews to the Red Sea. <coughs> and then wisdom brought the Jews through the Red Sea, and wisdom drowned the enemies of God. Wisdom is more powerful than all the enemies of God. Remember what it says in the sacred scripture about our times. You will be hated. They will say all manner of evil about you. <coughs> they will hunt you down. Many will die in my name. But a men and men I say to you, they shall not touch a hair of your head. They can come after us if they wish. But if God does not decide that it is our time to be glorified in the great beauty of martyrdom, if it is not our time to be glorified in this way, they shall not touch a hair of our head. St. Isidore the farmer and other saints like him, they wanted to kill him. They were so angry about him. Well, he didn't know that. Happened to several saints, not only him, but to two or three other saints as well. And so they said, the next person that goes into such and such, all the six other gifts are simply the beginnings, the middle, and the to enter into our lives. For wisdom to enter into our lives is the to hold on to this treasure.